YouTube! Welcome to another episode of Supreme Lord 2020 as California! As uh, we're going to deal with a few problems, such our, so when it comes to our wars, particular, particularly against Massachusetts, finally, after reaching their uh, borders, and a slight lag there, but oh well. But also against uh, Nevada, not, not, not Nevada, Utah. And thank you for one user to remind me that I uh, <laughs> did have a treaty with Nevada. In other words, um, to be able to uh, travel through their territory, their um, territory, which I completely forgot. So uh, thank you for reminding me. I uh, can't really memorize who's who, let alone those that I allied with. Uh, so with that, I have to move up here in trench there. Most of the uh, home army, I suppose you can, I suppose you can call that, to head he start heading to the front lines. While at the same time, I've got to prepare for possible invasion into Massachusetts, but also prepare for any, eh, being any possibility of being war decked by somebody. Highly doubt Delaware would be that stupid. Indiana or any of these others, I'm not so sure. At any rate, as far as Hawaii hasn't uh, declared war yet, I don't think who are they allied with. Well, a lot of nations, I have to say. Well, quickly take a look at the uh, situation of the rest of the world. Not much to say about the Korean and the uh, Manchurian War. The uh, Chinese Civil War between Tibet, North China, and Southern China has stalled. Mongolia has survived, of course. Indo-Pakistani War. Not much to say again. Middle East, nothing to say. Except for the Iran-Saudi War. And Kuwait as well. Interesting situation over there. Sudanese-Ethiopian War. Yeah, stalled. War down in the central part of Africa. Nothing to say, of course, with the problem of the uh, Democratic Republic of the Congo. You know, considering the names, of course, different now that I realized. And taking a look at the uh, well, mixture of Wikipedia and a few other things to check on the actual name and history, so to speak, such as its original name being Z Zambia, I think. No, not Zambia. Uh, Z Zaire. Zaire. Sorry. Forgot about that. Anyway, South Africa, not really much. Northern part of Africa, several wars are going on. Morocco, Algeria, and this big mess over here. Europe, uh, West Germany is surprisingly still alive. I don't know how. And I, st oh yeah, Marcel has taken Greenland for some reason. I forgot about that. But they are losing territory. They're losing a lot of territory to Madrid and Barcelona. Milan is at war with Marcel as well. So, if Marcel falls, they m maybe the Italians might gain... N not the Italians now, because Italy, Italy doesn't exist anymore. Another bond renewal. So, be interesting, interesting to see Milan take some territory. Maybe. South America. Nothing to say again. With exception of Paraguay's unusual uh, territory gains. And that's about it. So with that, I might as well just uh, get ready for the invasion into Massachusetts. Despite all the amount of extra troops that are standing by. I mean, it's possible to take all these and just hold out. And pray Massachusetts doesn't get through New Hampshire, which I'm sure they do have a treaty with them. Take all this, take these, and slowly but surely head toward the capital, or surround it. Either way. Economy situation, oh dear. Taxes are somewhat high, but social spending is still ridiculous. I have to try and keep balancing out as best I could. Social spending will now be 55%, whereas taxes is now 85%. 
Sheesh. Uh, I don't know if this is big enough, since I don't know the uh, size of Utah's army. Well, with that, I might as well just scout. Scout out to see what's even over here. In this case, I'll just scout certain areas, I guess. Just to see what's even over here. Okay, okay that's, that's a little too close. More bond renewals. Oh, that's a lot. More bond renewals and the daily surplus just um, begins to shrink. It's kind of funny how I just kind of funny how it's possible to just send your spies not directly into a city, but well, close enough. Just close enough. In this case, I'll probably put it in here or maybe out here actually, just to see. What's even over here? So with that, I'll have to send some of these guys a little closer. So uh, this is a first for me, actually, because I just did a little test run on another scenario, and this is the first time I've actually seen <laughs> for myself to just place your spies not directly into a city, but maybe on the outskirts. Well, that's a, so that's a first. And yes, they're close enough. Oh! Uh, <laughs> yeah, I am going to need a lot of help. Especially for all the amount of garrisons. <laughs> uh, two garrisons in uh, these uh, power, uh, coal supply, pow coal power plants. So, with that, I'll have to keep sending more reinforcements. Wait, bridge repairs? Blah, 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 blah. Many of the our nation's bridges are in desperate need of repair and could collapse at any time. Repairs would require uh, $756 million and tons of industrial goods. Uh, what's our industrial goods capacity? Oh, for crying out Lock and lock. If there's one headache, it's the consumer goods demand, and I'd rather not deal with the problems right now. Power demand is still a problem. And you know, I might as well just lock him. Actually, it uh, you know what? I'm just gonna lock him out. I get, I get the demand, but I think it's still best to just keep producing as much as we can, so that hopefully, maybe able to properly self-sustain. AI can really do some ra rather odd decisions. Yep, we are self-sufficient, but we're just gonna keep it like that. Oh, great. Once again, social spending once again has to be dropped dramatically. You know, I have to... You know what? Screw this. Reduce taxes, increase social spending, maybe, hopefully, this might balance out. Keep it at 55%, whereas this, keep it at 55% as well, just to balance out. And it has balanced out. Well, it, taxes were a bit too high after all. After all, there's no way people could start paying a lot just to maintain everything, so and even 50-50, somewhat even would be nice. But at the moment, I'll just have to wait, we'll just have to wait and see if it will um, balance out. At least I hope it will balance out. But at any rate, I have a majority of my army, except for some useless garrisons that I've yet to get rid of. Get rid of. All these garrisons are nice to have, but they can be annoying. And partisans as well. National Guard. I think all these units are going to have to reserve. Prepare for war. Which I'm sure could happen at any moment. Uh, there's no way to probably make sure to uh, check where each unit is. I mean, most of my infantry are up here, 
on the east side of the North American continent, whereas my other armies are somewhere else, in this case Mexico. But with that, I might as well just send them out to... I suppose Sierra Depot and reserve... no, not reserve, just entrench there and just wait. The rest of my armies, I'm not too worried unless Mississippi... unless uh, some of the Central American nations decides to declare war out of nowhere. Now I think about it, how's Mississippi doing? Uh, let's see. One monthly agricultural goods. How are, how are they doing anyway? Yeah, it seems like they are able to self-sustain for the most part. So that's fine. All oh, right, there's also Florida I gotta worry about. Except our relations are surprisingly good, despite the Casas belly. Huh? Wait, is that is it possible? Missile defense. What should I give you? What do they have? GPS missile designs. Uh, oh. All right. Mutual defense. Yeah, it's possible as well. All right. Well, first new ally in several episodes. Idaho, a possible war declaration. Kansas likes us. Well, that's uh, another ally to have. Nebraska, nope. Iowa, no. South Dakota, North Dakota, pretty, yeah, pretty much no. Wyoming, obvious. New York, mixed. New Hampshire, Maine, I don't know. Quebec, they're not happy with us, you know we are allies. But let me see if I could uh, give them something so that we, so that they could hopefully be happy, and I'll give them thirty days to think about that. Just by not much money. How's our economy? Oh, it's actually uh, balancing out slowly. At uh, I thought I locked him out. Uh, okay. Are you kidding me? I swear I locked him out. So, I don't know what happened there. Economy is dropping again. But hopefully the spending will be evened out. At least I hope so. 55, 55, just keep it balanced. Taxes I'll increase just by 1%. That's it. Anyway, where's the rest of my army that's supposed to be up here? Oh, partisans. Where are they going? I thought they were supposed to send them to be scrapped. I don't know. And the Texas uh, interceptors here. Interesting. Do I have any ground units here? Nope. Most of them are heading through Arizona. And into Nevada. And of course heading up to here. Wait, wait a minute. Okay, there's one other engineer. I don't know what these guys... I don't... Eh. Just entrench. And, you know what, I might as well just entrench these guys... Uh, these units a little closer than usual. I guess they ran out of supplies rather quickly. Could be. Northwest Territories, not possible. Nunavut, not possible. Yeah, well, it's gonna be a bit of a nightmare if I have to land these guys, any troops into their territory, let alone taking their only city, their capital. How's the economy situation going? Eh, not much change at the moment. Approval rating's gone up. It's okay. But... But... Despite all this, it's just not enough. 